Setting up DNS records, MX, SPF and DKIM enables email delivery and secure email communication by establishing trust between the recipient server and your name or domain, thus authenticating your domain and verifying the sender is really you. In this video, we'll walk you through the steps involved in setting up MX, SPF and DKIM records for your GoDaddy domain. To set up, first log into your GoDaddy account. Then, to update MX records, select your domain. Then, under DNS settings, select Add and choose MX from the drop down menu. Navigate to your Zoho Mail Admin Console tab, copy the host name and paste it in the name field in your GoDaddy DNS settings page. Set priority to 10. Again, go to your Zoho Mail Admin Console tab, copy the first address and paste it in the value field in your GoDaddy DNS settings page. Select the minimum value from the drop-down in the TTL field for the DNS to take effect and click Add Record. We recommend you to add additional MX records just in case the primary server isn't working. To do so, select Add again. Choose MX records from the drop down menu. Copy the host name from your Zoho Mail admin console page and paste it in the name field. Set priority to 20. Then copy the second address from your Zoho Mail admin console page and paste it into the value field in your GoDaddy DNS settings page. Select the minimum TTL value for the DNS to take effect and click Add record. Repeat the same process again. Copy the host and paste it in the name field. Set priority to 50. Copy the third address from your Zoho Mail Admin Console and paste it in the value field in your GoDaddy DNS settings page. Select the minimum TTL value for the DNS to take effect and click Add record. Please note, you may have to wait as long as the chosen TTL time for the MX records to take effect. Now you're done with MX records. Next, to set up SPF records in your DNS settings page in your GoDaddy account, select Add and choose TXT from the drop-down menu. Navigate back to Zoho Mail Admin Console tab. Copy host value from the Zoho Mail Admin Console page and paste it in the name field in your GoDaddy DNS settings page. Then, go to your Zoho Mail Admin Console tab again. Copy the TXT value and paste it into the value field in your GoDaddy DNS settings page. Select the minimum TTL value for the DNS to take effect and click Add Record. Please note, you may have to wait as long as the chosen TTL time for the update to take effect. Finally, to set up DKIM record in your DNS settings page in your GoDaddy account, select Add and choose TXT from the drop-down menu. Navigate back to Zoho Mail Admin Console tab. Copy host value from the Zoho Mail Admin Console page and paste it in the name field in your GoDaddy DNS settings page. Then, go to your Zoho Mail Admin Console tab again, copy the TXT value and paste it into the value field in your GoDaddy DNS settings page. Select the minimum TTL value for the DNS to take effect and click Add Record. Please note, you may have to wait as long as the chosen TTL time for the update to take effect. Navigate back to your Zoho Mail Admin Console tab and select Verify All Records. And that's it. Your emails sent from your domain are now authenticated and emails will now be delivered into your Zoho Mail account.
For more how to videos, subscribe to Zoho Mail channel and as always, thanks for watching.